Hello Aries, thank you so much for checking out this video. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. Feel free to check out your other placements, your rising, your moon, and your Venus signs. Sometimes those can resonate more than your sun sign. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest, check out your other placements, you know the drill. Let's get right into it, Aries, for Aries spirit. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know in love? What does Aries need to know in love for Aries? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. Door to romance. Beautiful. All right, Aries. What else, spirit, for Aries? Okay, we got the thinking woman. and door to personal healing and happiness. So the other person that got something about doors <laughs> is Capricorn. They also got two doors in their reading. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you and Capricorn are going through a season where there's gonna be a lot of opportunities, a lot of doors opening for you. And the ones for you are beautiful. Door to romance, door to personal healing and happiness. It can't get any better than that. Now with the thinking women, what I'm getting from this is you've already thought about this. You either are thinking about which door to walk through or you're already waiting for a door to open. I just get this sense of this woman already knowing and it doesn't have to be a woman that this is resonating for, but this is the thinking woman here. So I'm thinking of her and it's like she already knows that this is coming, that this is happening, that this is on its way. All right, so let's see what we can get from the tarot spirit for Aries. This is the Revelations Tarot. All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box if you're interested. Aries. Picking up some strange energy right now. For Aries, what do they need to know in love? What do they need to know, Spirit? King of Wands. Oh. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. This could be you. King of Wands. They know what they want and how to get it. You could be dealing with another fire sign as well. The Fool Reverse. Could be a delay in a new journey or someone taking an extremely reckless risk also not caring anymore so they they don't care how risky it is they're just gonna go for it let's see what else we got ten of cups reversed so there could be some sort of situation that's emotionally overwhelming something that's disappointing as well overwhelming there could be something happening in the family or with children where things are not as it seems what else for Aries Queen of Swords reverse not a good queen to be dealing with. I love this deck because you have artwork for the reversed card and the upright card. See that? I love it. So this queen is just not, not having a good time right now. <laughs> she's, she's probably very disappointed or over, over it for some of you. This is somebody who you are just tired of dealing with or someone difficult. We got seven of pentacles. It's all about investments, time, effort. 
doubting if something is ever going to happen, wondering if the fruits of your labor are going to pay off, wondering if your effort is going to pay off. And then we got the Four of Swords. This is a thinking, resting, recuperating or, re or being renewed here. Four of Swords is also someone that doesn't act. They're just thinking, resting. So no movement here with the Four of Swords. And with the full reverse right above it, I feel like there's still thinking going on in this new beginning. Or possibly healing for something that healing um, regarding something that didn't take off now I'm gonna be setting down another set of cards on each of these so I'll wait for those before I really say what I see here what else for Aries the Empress beautiful the Empress knows her worth. Everything they touch turns into gold. They have the magic touch. They can grow all kinds of things. They have lots of ideas. They're, they have, um, they're able to manifest things because they just have that magic touch. Also, the Empress tends to be a partner or a mother figure for some um, this could be someone that is a mother of children, perhaps. I have this right under the Ten of Cups, reverse. That's why I'm saying that. All right, what else for Aries? What else? The Moon reversed. I tell you, I shuffle my cards a lot, and I still get the same types of messages. The moon reverse, Pisces energy here with the moon. This queen of swords is very upset at whatever she found out here. Possibly something to do with deception. Queen of swords reverse tends to twist the truth. Um, let me see if I can move this down. You guys can see. Here we go. Um, they tend to twist the truth and use the truth to their advantage. Very interesting. So something has come out here. What's at the bottom? Four of Pentacles reverse. Someone's ready to let go of something here. Something they've been holding on to, possibly here. Okay, so... Let's see, I'm going to, for the next set of cards to save time, I'm just gonna wait until it feels right. And then I'm going to set them down, one for each of these eight cards. Spirit, help me clarify these messages. For another set of cards for Aries. Let me clarify these messages, please. This King of Wands, we have the High Priestess reversed. Interesting. This King of Wands is ready to speak up. Um, hopefully they haven't been ignoring their intuition. Interesting that we have the High Priestess and the Moon reversed. All about secrets coming out. There's something here that's coming out or has come out or during the next seven months, no, six months, something here is coming out. And I think it's through communication. The Hierophant reverse, contracts, commitment, marriage possibly, Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. It could be that some of you never... Either it was reckless or naive or not a good idea to get into a contract or a long-term commitment with someone. Or someone has broken a commitment here to go towards a new beginning, but they're blocked from that new beginning.
The emperor reversed. What is happening? What is happening? Emperor reversed right above the empress upright. This is a um, Aries energy here. Kind of creepy that artwork, but um, this is someone that po feels powerless, has lost control, cannot control or restabilize the situation. Could be somebody that is not easy to deal with. A lot of people here, Aries. Um, and we have at least one partnership, Emperor and Empress, from the same suit. But when I have an Emperor or two, um, when I have two cards of the same suit, like a partnership, like Emperor and Empress, and one is reversed and the other one's upright, they're not seeing eye to eye. There's a disconnect there. And it has to do with family or children or just emotional fulfillment because this is with the Ten of Cups reversed. Something here is not happy with this, this Emperor reversed. Okay, tell me about this Queen of Swords reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed. Someone wanting to come out of the cold here. Before you guys think that all my cards are reversed, <laughs> I have... The Two of Wands upright, the King of Swords upright, the Death upright, all the cards upright are down here. <laughs> so, this is the message. Someone wants to come out of the cold or someone wants to repair or um, improve a situation where they've been struggling. And this could be in a partnership. There could have been no communication or very little communication here and now someone wants to communicate wants to reconnect but this queen of swords reverse they tend to be very withdrawn emotionally unavailable uh difficult to deal with they're not happy um and so i don't know how this queen of swords could ever try to come out of the cold in a productive way here what about the seven of pentacles Nine of Cups Reverse. So what happened here with this Nine of Cups Reverse is that someone got what they wanted, but it was not the right investment. Now they're having doubts about the time they've put in, the effort they've put in somewhere. It's like they they got their, their wish was granted, but there was a huge compromise. And now they're doubtful. They're feeling doubtful here. And this could be you, Aries. And anything that I'm talking about here could be Aries. Or it could be the person you are connecting with, Aries. Whether you've connected with them already, are in a cur con current connection, or will be connecting with. Um, this is what someone here is going through in this connection. Because energy is fluid. So there's no, no way that I could tell you for sure who any of these people are. You know, even though this is your sign, Aries, with the Emperor reverse, it doesn't say that that doesn't mean that that's you. That could be your person or it could be someone surrounding this connection. It could be like a parent, a boss, a leader, a friend, etc. Same with the Queen of Swords, same with the Empress. I'm not going to go on and on, but just want to make that point that tarot is not like this crystal ball that you look through and you get all the answers. And anybody that's selling you on that, it's, it's just there's it's not true it's impossible let's look at this four of swords nine of pentacles so now we're coming into a situation where someone here is independent free secure successful it's like there's been some sort of healing or something like that or this is the person thinking this thinking woman and notice how the thinking woman is kind of like, there's like a greenish tin, like, you know, she there's greens in this picture, a lot of greens, and so is in this Nine of Pentacles. I'm mentioning it because I don't believe in coincidences. <laughs> so we have here a Nine of Pentacles energy. 
and it has to do this nine of pentacles is the one i feel that's broken a commitment or is breaking a commitment here because i have the higher font reverse and then i have the nine of pentacles right below literally someone becoming free from a contract or a commitment king of pentacles with the empress taurus virgo capricorn energy here so we have two kings upright, emperor reverse, empress upright, and a queen of swords reverse. At least five people there. It could also be that this emperor reverse has over time stabilized themselves and now they're a king of pentacles. Could be. So this King of Wands could have could be this King of Pentacles as well, because we can all exhibit different energies. But for some reason, <laughs> I really get the sense that this Emperor is the one being let go. What about this moon reversed? Judgment, my goodness. Gotta love it. Judgment day <laughs> has arrived. And at the bottom, I have the two of wands, which will go with this four of pentacles reversed here. So, at the heart of the matter, we have someone letting go and having a choice, a different path to choose from here, which is a running theme in a lot of the readings that I've been doing, um, because I feel like with all the planetary shifts, and I'm not an astrologer, if you know a good astrologer on YouTube, please leave them in the comments, because I'm trying to, you know, educate myself more on, you know, what's happening, plan like in the, plan in the planets and in, in astrology, because I really feel like it's affecting the zodiac signs a lot. All of these eclipses and moons and, you know, all of this, the shifts that are happening energetically, like are affecting the zodiacs in a big way. The collective is going through a lot of the similar, a lot of the same similar situations everybody's having. For some reason, I can't say that in a, in a normal sentence. But what I'm trying to say is I keep getting the same types of messages and I think it's for a reason. Here we have... A situation that starts with a secret being revealed. Someone is doubting. I think once the secret is revealed, this King of Wands is doubting everything that they thought they knew. They thought they had gotten their wish fulfillment. They thought they were emotionally fulfilled, satisfied. They thought they had everything that they could ever want. And it turned out to be not a lie but it was not what they thought it was going to be and maybe they were wrong about what they wanted that's the energy I'm picking up here now they're having doubts did I invest in the right person and the right thing have I wasted my time is anything good coming from this I sense here there's been some sort of breakup if it was a not a marriage it was a long-term commitment Something is either going to take place during these six months or there's been a fallout from a recent breakup here. But this breakup, this, 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 whatever, one person has broken free and is now regaining their stability and their security. And they're going from a nine of pentacles to a king of pentacles real quick, real quick. And it's like they've thought about this so much, you know. This thinking woman, they thought about their next steps, which door to choose, who to choose. And this was a reading that you recently got, Aries, choosing between the past and the and the future. I feel like this, this Nine of Pentacles has known that this was coming. And it's like in the back of their mind, they were already planning what to do. Now this is a partnership right here that I can get behind. This King of Pentacles and the Empress, great pair right here. 
And that's why I think this Emperor Reverse is getting kicked off the island. <laughs> because I just don't think they were a good match. This Emperor and this Empress were not a good match. And so this King of Wands, which I think could be you Aries here, whatever you found out, whatever realization you're having, you did something about it. Because the King of Wands, they act. They're not ones to sit around and be just thinking. They act. They act on what they've been planning. And usually it's quick, impulsive, usually. But this, I feel, possibly was not was a little complicated. I have at least three people here, so it could be a third party for a lot of you. I have at least three people here and a family dynamic, something to do with children or family or something to do with whatever this Nine of Cups was over here. They're both reversed, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. This is emotional fulfillment. This is internal satisfaction. Something has shifted. And I think it's this emperor's fault. I hate to say it, but usually they're very difficult to deal with. Emperors reverse, they, they, they could even be narcissists. I'm not saying that they are, but they that's how far it could go. And then we have judgment. Judgment next to the moon reverse, which tells me someone is making a judgment call based on what they've figured out. Someone is making a final decision, like this is what's gonna happen. This could have had something to do with a karmic situation. This could be something where someone wants to have a second chance at life. And this Queen of Swords, I feel, is upset about that because this Queen of Swords, their thought was, I wanna get back together. I wanna fix this. I want to, to repair whatever rift we have between us, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think this Queen of Swords is going to stay upset because judgment is, is something you cannot ignore. It's, a, it's, a, it's an awakening, an epiphany, a wake-up call of such magnitude that someone does something about it. You know, I don't think that it is a coincidence that we have a King of Wands next to the High Priestess Reverse and we have Judgment next to the Moon Reverse. Very similar energies here. And this is like the beginning and the end. It's like the King of Wands was just thinking about what to do and now they're doing it down here. But this is what I see so far. I see someone getting left behind, someone choosing a different path. And a lot of drama. I'm sensing drama from this Queen of Swords like nobody's business. I feel like there's multiple people involved. It could be parents, friends, co-workers, siblings, exes, whatever. There's a lot of people involved here. At least three. And I think this right here, this King of Pentacles and the Empress, it's like if this is not the same person, this is a great partnership. I think this is, this two of wands over here, it's like the doors, right? And it's gonna bring romance and it's gonna bring personal healing and happiness. Four of swords, nine of pentacles energy, for sure. Aries, I think for you, whether you are involved in this situation directly or not, you're gonna benefit so much from what's going on here. It's going to open doors, door to love, essentially, you know, door to not just being happy, but also being complete is what I'm getting. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. I hope that this resonated with most of you. And if it did, please leave me a comment. I love hearing from you and hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.